Hey guys, good morning and welcome back to my channel. One, two, three, come on! Come on, come on! Thank you so much for tuning in this far since this is my third vlog and I have not introduced myself to you well. For today's video, let's get up close and personal because today we'll be doing random facts about myself. So, magila ila ta ate, kuya, musta. So, my sister have prepared questions from the net and I have no idea. And I will be answering this one one by one. So, are you ready? Let's get this started. First question is, what is your full name? So, my full name is Jatison Bagaipo Opon. So, my father got my name when he was still in college and studied custom administration. So, my name was derived from the action word Jettison, which spells as G-E-T-T-I-S-O-N, which means to unload heavy object. There you go. However, I find it funny for some people because they're having a hard time pronouncing my name. So, sometimes they mistakenly pronounce my name as Jettison, Jetson, Gistone, and what's worse is Jetski. But, that's fine. Second, where did you grow up? So, Osako Kalumad nga Sugboanun. So, Bisdak ni Bay. So, um, I originated here in Cebu City. However, um, my province is in Cagayan de Oro. The last time I went there was four years ago. So, we are supposed to go there sometime this year, but because of the COVID, so we're gonna plan it um, probably next year. Next is Have you gone to college? Yes, uh, I graduated in Cebu Institute of Technology University with a bachelor's degree of nursing. So yes, I'm a full-time nurse. Next question, why did you start vlogging? Well, actually, I've been recording myself and doing video journal uh, nine years ago. If you could search on YouTube, actually, I have two accounts. Um, the other one is already obsolete. That was nine years ago. I already uploaded uh, some videos there. However, that time, dili pa mangut uso ang YouTuber, dili pa uso ang mga vlogger. So um, the reason why ako ng stop it's because weird nya ang uban ako ni gulo unsum ni siya o yun time, so this is the era of the technology where there are a lot of YouTubers and vloggers sprouting all around the world. So might as well do my first love, which is this one talking in front of the people so and I hope no this would work hoping that you will continue to support me and hope this vlog journal will work next question is when did you start posting um, all started with my fascination on doing production and doing big school programs sa school so next started siya way back in high school hi to my high school classmates and my teachers i'm not sure if uh, i i know that you are not aware of this one but there are times that i do cut classes and i miss out some subjects or even i i was late it's because mo adto mako sa gymnasium magli man ko because i'm really curious kung kung saon gyud sa production team pag put up og usa ka dako nga school program so i'm very curious kung kung saon nila pag pag line up sa flow sa program and how the MC uh, review their scripts, do the rehearsals, do the blocking with all the technical uh, rehearsals like the lights and how's the feeling in front of the people. So no, um, yeah, quite envy ko nga um, wala dyan ko natigang opportunity sa high school because I'm very introvert. So, uh, when I went to college, when I graduated as a high school, I went to college, um, it was, uh, aside from my parents, it was both my aunties and my uncle from both sides supporting me para maka-college ko. Mm -hmm. Because I was planning mango to pursue mass communications because that, because that is my love. However, they gave me one condition. And that condition is, yes, we will allow you to go to, to mass communication um, provided na ikay mo fans yung kogalingon. And second, um, if mag-nursing ka, then we will support you all the way. So, I was thinking po nga, tingali ako lang po tingali, ipadelay nga akong passion. And you know, practical enough, wala man ko yung means nga maka-generate of income on my own during that time. Kay bata pa man ko. So, I pursue nursing. And uh, one of the fact nga no, ni pursue po nursing, well, aside nga 
it's a medical course, of course, that's a edge on your end. Because that's a medical course. Ganahan mo ko sa white uniform. So that's it. When I went to the nursing school na, um, oh, so na busy ka ayo sa mga curricular activities, I started, uh, since naman ko'y bucket list, nga um, ganahan ko ma-expose ang galingon. And since this is a college, this is a new stage na, so I uh, entered um, different organizations. I joined the Nursing Body Student Organization. I do facilitations on school programs, sa amo ang college, the College of Nursing. So, with that, I was given the opportunity to host um, events during our nursing days. So, at to, nagsugod -sugod. But during that time, dili pa dyan kayo kumaayo and kanang kulba-kulbaan pagig ko ato in front of the people. So, at to, nagsugod. Then, when I already exposed myself na sa public because of the Student Nursing Body Organization or NSPO, my next bucket list is gusto na ko i-challenge ang ako ang self. So, my next stage would be, I want to have a TV exposure. So, in sao man, anako, nga wama ko connection. There was MAG TV na. It's a local TV magazine show of ABS-CBN Cebu. So, where they are looking for a new TV host. So, I was planning na nga to audition that time. So, I, I created my resume and uh, isubmit na sa ABS-CBN Cebu. But during that time, um... I failed to show up in the audition because it just so happened na schedule po sa ako ang major exam. And of course, dili po na ako i-sacrifice akong study because during that time, uh, ginulingaw naman ako ang hosting. I didn't show up. No call, no show. So, better luck next time. But still, wala agyapon ko na frustrate. I keep studying. Gidisregard na lang ako ang hosting until um, there were some college classmates of mine uh, who invited me to to host for their barangay fiesta there so everywhere bisan asa nga barangay i do hosting and during that time wala pa talent fee no so ang ilang ihatag lang um, rutas o saka bulig nga saging and sometimes if i go home very late na ihatod ko barangay tanod sa skina so ina na ang setup before and uh, my parents would wonder uh, why I, I came home very late so i just excuse nga ng group study me ina na kay naami case presentation the next day so that started. So after graduation, here comes Mag TV na again. So it's their anniversary. So nangita sila og mga laki nga mga kabags nga makuyog nila sa ilang I think fourth anniversary celebration. So ilaming dad on somewhere sa Albay by doing an easy writing contest, something like that. What I did is nabuhat ko. It's because of my bucket list to have a TV exposure. So lagi nako na challenge ang ako ang self. So I created an easy an essay. So, lucky enough, so sa tanang mga nipas, uh, duha mi na napik for the easy writing contest. It's the the other one is Marilyn Nugra. Hi Marilyn, if you're watching this one, kumusta ka lera? So it was me and Marilyn, and special thanks to the production team of Mag TV na Cebu, uh, Miss Bangs, hi Miss Bangs, Sir Adrian and Sir Blaine. Thank you so much, and of course the hosts of Mag TV na Phoebe, Borgi, and Jonathan. So after that exposure, so uh, there was one uh, coordination team. That's our events, uh, headed by Sir Rico and Miss Sharon. So they are the one who introduced me to the mainstream event industry, and they are the one who introduced me to the legendary San Diego dancers. Kaan kabaw magin mo guys ang San Diego dar is very renowned of the traditional and their signature sinulog dance nga nasikat not only here in Cebu, not only here in the Philippines, but all around the world. So, na-introduce ang culture sa Sinulog, it's because of the San Diego dancers. So, I get to know them up close and personal because sometimes mag ko sa ilang mga rehearsals, sa ilang mga practices, and if na sila yung mga events, so, ila kong paon as their host. And thank you so much, um, our events, uh, Sir Rico and Ms. Sharon, kay ato ko nagsugod sa ila. And right after that one, um, I got the chance to meet uh, a lot of big names in the event industry and also um, na po yung mga private clients and so will book me privately and also nga to naging na-establish nga na naging TF so na-amaze lang ko nga for a simple hobby or a, a passion you get to earn money with that by just talking and you know I'm really thankful for this God-given talent thank you
thankful juga ko ana and also for my clients and for all of my organizers thank you so much for entrusting your events to me so ngadto nagsugod ang ako ang career sa hosting so you know I, and I hope to get to work with you guys you know and be a chatter cake couple okay next question tea or coffee okay actually guys growing up favorite yun na ko ang java chip frappuccino sa starbucks however there was a certain point of my life nga nakadevelop ko o caffeine intolerance so unsa man yung caffeine intolerance so, uh, as compared sa inyo ha or majority of you is ma energetic mo kung mag coffee but mine if kung mag coffee ko i get stomach upset and mag dizzy ko so as, as much as possible din na lang ito mag coffee so that's why i converted to tea so now sa pag tea pod um Mine is, uh, my favorite tea is green tea. And uh, when I go to Starbucks, per my order is matcha latte. Who is your celebrity crush? So actually, my celebrity... Who is my celebrity crush? So actually, my celebrity crush is Tony Gonzaga. And it is through her that I get that passion to do hosting. It's Tony Gonzaga. Who is your favorite YouTuber? Well, my favorite YouTuber is actually... Daghan, uh, every time I go on YouTube, so ang akong permitan awon is mga real estate properties like Priscello, like Camellia Homes because I like uh, interior designing stuff and also cars. I'm more into cars like uh, Car Wow and Auto Deal. For local YouTuber, I like Alex Gonzaga. Next question! What is your go-to hairstyle? Is this one, brush up, and those you can see on my picture every time I do have events. Kay dali na siya i-manage, so you just brush up that one. And dili ko pwede magpasimi upaw kay, um, you know, makasabanta. What is your favorite color? So my favorite color is blue. So blue, it doesn't mean that I'm sad, I'm melancholic, it's because blue is neutral. Uh, you could have anything with blue in different occasions, in different events. So it suits in different occasions, ang blue. So what are your pet peeves? What's ang pet peeves? Kanang ero, ering. Okay guys, I'm just kidding. My pet peeves are first, hate yun na ko ng permi malate. Mawagina. So, mawagina. I'm very particular with the time. Even so, maingon sila nga. Filipino time because we're here in the Philippines but I'm always following an American time. So, uh, if na set na call time, ang ako ang organizer, um, what to get to at least an hour before so I could do the technical rehearsal para flawless na kayo ang program ikasugod sa event. Muna siya. Second nga din ako ganahan or my pet peeve is kanang sabaan. Very noisy. Surprisingly, I'm an introvert person. But of course, ikapresenta ni mo sa stage, hindi pwede mo introvert-introvert. But personally, on my personal side, I'm an introvert person. So, I really hate Saba. And during my day off, gusto na ako, hilo maragid kaayo. Because all time of my life, pirmi lang Saba. But I enjoyed man. Okay, next question. When are you the happiest? I'm the happiest every time magmukbang na mukaon because one of my hobby is food trip. But seriously guys, I'm the happiest every time I see my parents happy and I'm giving them better life. Although we are not well off, but okay lang. Maka-sustain na po. And secondly is, you know, every time I step up on stage because, you know, stage is always my playground. Believe me guys, so for inquiries, please PM me and you get to know what I mean. Hmm. Hashtag chatter tape. Next question. Do you have bad habits? Of course, because no one is perfect. So my bad habit is this one. So every time mo taas lang akong kuko, ako nang pagkakitkitod. Ibisan badlungon pa ko. Hindi gano'n ako makontrol. It's innate in me. Nakikip na gano'n ako akong koko. I'm sorry. I know it's a bad habit. So there you have it guys. Some random facts about myself. I hope nagkaila-ila rapunta. O kinaot nga o banan gapon ko ninyo sa mga musunod na akong mga videos. 
if you are new to my channel, please don't forget to click subscribe and hit the bell button so you get notified every time I post new videos. And if you have any suggestions and inquiries on my video, please don't forget to comment down below because I'll be reading all of your feedback. Thank you! Before I end this vlog, allow me to do a shout out to all of my friends. Special shout out to Miss Rachel Zamora. Hi Ching, I so love all of your my days. Mommy Chell, Mommy Gwen, Miss Jennifer Noval, one of the Jutter Kane Bride, Vince, JM, Ruth, Joel, Raymond, and Jo Marie. Hello! And also special thanks to John Chak Taghoy. Hi Chak! There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope all of you had fun. Be safe and be healthy at home. Bye, love you all.